Good morning, Bath County High School. Aaron Baldwin, your friendly librarian, coming here to you live from Ricky Prater's room. Just so happy to be with you guys again and starting to end this school year here. I want to give you a few updates about what's going to be going on in the library. Uh, coming up May 2nd, that is the Monday that hopefully you're watching this, uh, we're going to begin our book uh, return program. And what it is, is you will have the second and the third and the fourth. Well, you can bring your books back no matter how late they are and you have no consequences whatsoever. Starting on the 6th and 7th and going forward though, for every day that your book is late, you will receive one break detention. So make sure you bring me your book, the 2nd, the 3rd, or the 4th. And if you don't, then I'll be finding you in your classrooms and bringing in one of the little red slips of paper that nobody wants to see. So I hope everybody has a great end of the year. I hope everybody does well on their EOCs. But bring me your library book so I don't have to write you a break detention. Good luck on your test. So we made a mistake on yesterday's announcements. Mr. Vincent is not going to Greece for spring break 2017. Next year, Bath County High School will be traveling to London, England, and Paris, France, and Florence and Rome, Italy. Anyone interested is invited to attend an informational meeting on Tuesday, May 3rd at 5.30 p.m. in Mr. Vincent's room. Good morning, BCHS, and today is May 2nd, and welcome to BCTV. Our Honors Board student at Bath County High School, as chosen by Mr. Anderson, is Brody Donaldson. Mr. Anderson picked Brody because Brody is a great student who works hard in the classroom on an everyday basis. Brody's attentiveness in class and his willingness to work with others makes him an important member of the classroom. When asked about his selection, Brody said, While at BCHS, my favorite class has been gym with Mr. Anderson. I like this class because it allows me to be active while still learning about athletics. Congratulations, Brody. A big congratulations goes out to our TSA members. The TSA recently competed at the State TSA Conference in Louisville, Kentucky and received first place for their on-demand video and first place for their digital video. We also want to recognize Ryan Walters for being elected the State Historian for the Kentucky Technology Student Association. This makes the fourth year in a row that the TSA has qualified for the Nationals. They will be traveling to Nashville, Tennessee in June to compete in the National TSA Conference. Congratulations, TSA. Those seniors who are career ready will be going to the movie tavern to watch the Captain America Civil War on Friday, May 13th. A list of these seniors can be found posted in the hallway. We still have a few students that could meet career ready by passing their industry certifications for Mrs. Ramey, Miss Lane, and Mr. Weaver. Good luck. There are still some seniors that can be college ready by passing the Compass or Coyote. Stop by and see Miss Crockett to set up a time to test. Sophomores and juniors, don't forget to blitz the EOC. You can win a shopping spree courteous of BCHS. The top users of Study Island who have the most amount of time for studying, Algebra, Biology, History, or English 2 will receive a $100 shopping spree. And one of the top three winners will receive a $300 shopping spree. To start today, log in to Study Island and blitz the EOCs. And speaking of blitz, let's take a look at the blitz leaderboards for this week. In English 2, overall, with an overall student use of 43%, we have in first, Margaret Hughes, second, Joseph Little, third, Caitlin Hoover, fourth, Ryan Walters, and in fifth, Christopher Hunt. In Algebra 2, the overall student use was 19%. At number one, Daniel Darden. Number two, Zachary Martin. Number three, D Dustin Kidd. Number four, Josh Patton. And number five, Zachary Downey. In U.S. history, with an overall student use of 77%, we have in first, Summer Willoughby. Second, Hope Minix. Third, Samantha Compton. Fourth, Summer Darnell. And in fifth, Whitney Hatton. In biology, the overall student use was 71%. Number one, Carly Davis. Number two, Elijah Spillman. Number three, Michaela Dingus. Number four, Amber Trusty. Number five, Megan McKnight. And our overall overall leaders of Blitz EOC are in in first, Summer Willoughby. Second, Samantha Compton. Third, Carly Davis. Fourth, Elite Elijah Spillman. And in fifth, Summer Darnell. 
This is the last call for any club, sports, organizations, and classroom pictures to be included in the yearbook. If you have any photos that you would like placed in the yearbook, please see email Ms. Robinson the photos along with the captions and descriptions, preferably by May 3rd. It's time for the Kings Island. It's time for Kings Island. That's right. Those students who scored proficient and or distinguished on last year's state testing, which includes on-demand writing and all four end of course assessments will be traveling on a reward trip to Kings Island on Friday, May 6th. Students will leave at 8.30 a.m. and return at 10 p.m. that night. The reward trip is only open to those students who scored proficient and slash or distinguished on the previous year's te site testing. All transportation costs are being paid by the school as well as much of the ticket costs. Teachers, if you sponsor a club, sport, or other activity and would like to include information in the BCHS highlight video, please send Ms. Porter any pictures or videos that you want to submit. This is the time to really highlight the accomplishments of your students and celebrate the success of your club or activity. Ms. Porter also needs a brief statement or explanation about each picture or video. This information will be sent to the board office for the final video. For more information, please contact Ms. Porter. Well, that's all we have for today, but remember, if you're saying yes to someone else, just make sure you're not saying no to you. Have a great day, BCHS, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow. So we made a mistake on yesterday's announcements. Mr. Vincent is not going to Greece for spring break 2017. Next year, Bath County High School will be traveling to London, England, and Paris, France, and Florence and Rome, Italy. Anyone interested is invited to attend an informational meeting on Tuesday, May 3rd at 5.30 p.m. in Mr. Vincent's room.